you've all had an awesome Easter. Friends, we've been away from church for quite some time now, so I wanted to test something out. I want to see if you remember our two rules in pre-K. Who can tell me what rule number one is? Right, be kind. Put your number one up in the air, wave it around and say, be kind. Awesome job. Who can tell me what rule number two is? Right, be safe. Put your number two up in the air, bring it back, wind it up, and be safe. Those two rules are even important at home. Friends, now let's go over our Bible verse for April. It goes like this. I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18. Awesome job. If you guys are ready for some worship with me and for your lesson with Ollie, on the count of three, say hit it, tech team. Ready? One, two, three. But faith is dead, I need a 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. My friends and I planted flowers in our flower pots and have been waiting and waiting for them to bloom. I think today's the day, but I'm afraid to look and see. Maybe there are so many flowers that I won't even be able to walk in the clubhouse. That might be too many flowers. Maybe the flowers have grown so big and tall that they're hitting the top of the clubhouse. That might be too tall for a flower. <sighs> okay, here I go. It's time to look. Do you want to look with me? Cover your eyes and count to three with me. Go ahead, cover your eyes. Now let's count to three. One, two, three. Wow, oh wow, they bloomed and they're perfect. Not too many and not too tall. They're just right. These are absolutely perfect. Do you know why? My grandma has a spot on her windowsill that will be just right for these flowers. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What beautiful flowers. I love that blue. I'm going to give them to my grandma and I have breakfast at her house. What a wonderful breakfast for you. I know about another special breakfast, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through, hoo. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <laughs> okay, guys, great walk today. Now it's time for breakfast. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. <laughs> You guys say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Barkley and Goldie. We've been out on a long walk today, and everyone is hungry. Do you like breakfast? <laughs> Me too. Do you like to eat waffles? Do you like cereal? Do you like fish? Some people have fish for breakfast, just like the people in today's true story from the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about what happened after Easter. Easter started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No, he came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Well, not long after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing when all of a sudden, they saw Jesus standing on the beach. Jesus is alive. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. Ready? <laughs> yes, the disciples were so excited. And Jesus told his friends to come and have breakfast with him right there on the beach. They were so happy to be with their good friend Jesus again. And they knew that he loved them and that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. How awesome is that? Jesus is alive and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye! <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be your friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Jesus came back just like he said he would. Then he had breakfast with his friends and told them he wants to be their friend forever. I think I got the story. 
Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to give my flowers to my grandma at breakfast. I can tell her that Jesus is alive and that he ate breakfast with his friends too. Ooh, I hope grandma's gonna make pancakes and bacon, yum! Thank <laughs> you.